Hi, I'm Michael Sutton, owner at Kind Home Solutions. We're a local painting company in Denver, Colorado. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how much it costs to paint the exterior of your home in 2022. I'm joined with Tom Carmichael, our sales and production manager, and he's gonna be helping us learn more about how much it costs to paint your home. A lot has changed since we did this video originally back in 2020. Everyone has experienced some supply chain issues. Everyone has experienced prices going up. And we're gonna go over some of those factors and how it's changed prices since then. To get an idea of a, a deeper discussion of, of what it costs to paint a house, please visit the link above and you can check that out. And there's a lot more information of the individual factors that go into it. Today, we're really just gonna be discussing more of the, the updates, the things that have changed since we last did that video. The last time we shot this video, we were looking at our average job size from 2019. In 2019, we had an average project size of $4,500. Since then, a lot has changed and prices have certainly gone up. Last year, do you know what our average job size was? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, our average job size in 2021 was $5,700. Uh, a little bit different from what we saw in 2019. That being said, I'm curious, what do we expect for 2022? What we're anticipating and forecasting for 2022 is we're going to be somewhere in that $6,200 to $6,500 average job size range. Now, we're pretty early into 2022 right now, so you know the, the price increases from last year added up. We have another one coming into this year, and you know that's what we're forecasting. We're in the early months now, um, but we can really foresee that that's about where it's going to, going to be. Can we take a, a minute and look at a couple examples of uh, projects that we've done and, and how much they cost? Yeah, absolutely. Here's a couple photos with some price ranges. Uh, this home right here, uh, it was in that $4,000 to $5,000 range in 2021. This next home, that was in that $5,000 to $6,000 range. Mm -hmm. And this next home is in that $8,000 to $10,000 range. Uh, and this next home is in that $12,000 to $15,000 range. Now, certainly there's a lot of different styles of homes in Colorado and a lot of different factors that go into the different pricing that you see. Mm -hmm. um, again, please go back to that video that we shot to see all those individual factors that really set that different pricing. Feel free to check out the blog in our comments section below. Uh, we are gonna have more information there and a lot more pictures of homes and the different pricing that goes along with them. You could likely find a home that's similar to yours and really get an idea of the pricing. So looking at the 2022 change in pricing, what was a big factor that, that we're up against as a company and, and is affecting those prices? Yeah, that's a great question, Michael. Uh, what we're really seeing is, you know, like I said before, uh, material costs are increasing. When you don't have as much supply of those raw materials, companies are gonna have to raise their prices. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna have as much quantity of those products to sell, but being businesses, they still need to make money off of them mm -hmm. so that they can run a healthy business. So they're gonna increase their, their cost for them. Uh, that cost gets passed on to us and that cost gets passed on to anyone utilizing those products. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there were also shortages in uh, the, the delivery trucks going out and getting those products from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was really a, a tough year last year, as, as we both know, mm -hmm. uh, dealing with the production side of things to, to find that paint when we needed it uh, and get it to our clients when they needed it. Uh, the other factor, as you well know, is, is the labor side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're up against is a diminishing labor force. Uh, there's a lot of factors involved there. Uh, and I, I won't go into those, but what we're seeing is that our, our really good painters, we always want to take good care of them, but even more so now. When there are labor shortages, other companies are going to try and you know take the good laborers so that they know they can paint houses as well and they can trust those laborers to do a good job. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is we have to be a little bit more competitive with those prices and we have to pay them more to ensure that they're gonna stay with us and continue to do the quality uh, levels that we expect. And thus far this year, is it fair to say the price increase that we had uh, starting in the season was the largest price increase we've ever had? Yeah, absolutely. Largest single price increase I've seen since I've been doing this. Uh, since we've been doing this, and we've been doing this for, for a while. So, uh, you know, we, we expected that, we anticipated it, and I think we're seeing that across the board. You know, uh, going to fill up my gas tank nowadays is a, a little bit harder than it was in years past, so. When we look at our market specifically, 
Some of these numbers might sound like really large numbers to a homeowner, but where do we fall within our within our market? Yeah, that, that's that's a really good question, Michael. There's a, a lot of different markets in the United States, and there's a lot of different reasons why paint jobs can be priced mm -hmm. differently. Um, in Colorado, we're kind of you know in the middle towards the upper end as far as those paint prices can go. Uh, a lot of that has to do with our labor market here. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the extreme shifts in weather and temperature that mm -hmm. we see and having to do a paint job that matches that if, if you want to get it to last a really long time. So uh, what we see in Colorado is kind of being in that middle upper end of the, of the price spectrum. Yeah. Do, do products play a factor in that price point? A absolutely. You know, here at Kind Homes, we only use the top line products. Uh, they cost more, uh, but you get more out of them. You get a better return on investment, a longer life cycle. So, you know, if you want to use lower grade products, you're going to have to use more of them to get the same coverage and they're not going to last as long. And we just don't see the value in that. So mm -hmm. uh, we want to use the highest grade of product possible because the, the labor side of this is such a big cost. Mm -hmm. Let's use good materials so it lasts as long as possible and you can get the best return on your investment for the life cycle cost. If you want to learn more about the products that we use or products on the market, please feel free to look at some of our other videos where we talk about that specifically. As always, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you plan and budget for your exterior painting project in 2022. Please subscribe to our channel for more useful videos like this. Thank you again, have a great day. Thanks, take care.